Hey, hey crafters, welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Today we're gonna be trying out this polymer clay assorted pack from Dollar Tree. It is the Crafters Square brand and they do have three different colors. So I did grab all three just because you know, we need to try them. So I am gonna grab like a color, maybe one or two colors from each pack and try them out with you guys. These are the colors that I ended up choosing. It's more like earthy, cool toned colors. They are very pretty. The clear film that it comes in is a little annoying to open up, but afterwards it was pretty easy to use. It is soft. It's a, it's very, very soft in my opinion. And it's kind of like Sculpey 3, which is, it's a good kind of polymer clay but it's just too soft so just take that into consideration when dealing with this kind of clay i will be adding in some white acrylic paint i do this so that it creates kind of like a marbled effect on the paint and it looks way cooler i do then let it dry out uh, maybe 20 minutes and then i do add the fan like directly towards it so that will help after it is dry, we are going to add in some gold colored foil. I know Dollar Tree does have a few different colors like the gold, the silver, and the rose gold. But I just have this one that I got from Timu. So now afterwards, I am going to flip them all and start stacking them. Just depending on what colors I want to be first or which order I want them in. And then I will mix them up together roll them up together and that actually makes it look really really cool once you cut into it once it's mixed up you'll want to form a cube and i did make a mistake i should have put this in the freezer to freeze because it's a little too soft but it still worked out anyways so i'm glad about that and the design is super cool what do you guys think comment down below I think it looks really really nice and like each color pops really really nicely so I will go ahead and put these together after rolling them out I will then roll it out together and also use my atlas and now it is time to cut out with my cutters I did want to try out this new cutter that I got but at the end you guys will see it didn't really work out so I ended up using other ones that I have and I always use, like this teardrop one. This clay is pretty easy to work with. I do kind of like it. The only problem is it's way too soft and it just ruins your designs or your cuts because it's just too soft and like the form, you lose like the form. So it's really not that great. But for $1.25 for the pack, it's really not that bad. You can add some other hardeners maybe into it or a different kind of clay to make it harder. But this is before baking it and then I do have some extra colors if you guys want me to make another video. And this is after baking it. So it's time to do all the touch ups and resin and all of that so I can show you guys what it looks like for the result. I've had this Dremel for literally over 8 years and it works perfectly until this day. And I always use this because I do want a perfect smooth piece. I don't want like any rough edges and just I don't want it to look unprofessional. So this is a great tool if you are doing polymer clay. You should invest in one of these because it is quicker than doing it by hand. So for this piece, as you guys can see, this is very, very soft even with baking it. So I could not use this piece and sand it out. It just didn't work, so I had to throw it out. And this is the result. I am very pleased. I love how these turned out. They are very cute, very sophisticated, fancy. I love them. And the color combination is just perfect. I did like using the like Dollar Tree clay. I did and I didn't. Like, it's awesome to try something that's $1.25 and... 
get something this beautiful out of it. But yes, there are some things that I wish would have been better, like the clay not being as soft even with baking it. But in overall, I do give it a 6 out of 10. So if you guys do find this at Dollar Tree, try it out. If you guys want any other videos trying these clays, let me know. Bye!